Hi, I'm Laurent. I'm a principal architect with Google Cloud, and I'm going to give you a demo this morning of uh, a network agent that we have put together to show you how Agentic AI, based on Gemini, can help you in uh, operating, building, and planning uh, your telco network. So the idea here is to show you a number of uh, agents that will help you in each of these phases. So without further ado, let's go into the demo. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, this uh, UI here that you see. On the left-hand side, you have where you can chat with the, with the agents. And on the right-hand side, you can see a real-time view of the topology of your network. And uh, just before I start asking questions uh, to the agent, I'm going to show you that uh, the agents that we're using uh, is a pluggable architecture. You can add as many specialized agents as you want. And the agents that we will be using for the demo here are of three types. Uh, the first one is what we call the operation agent, which as the name says, is capable of telling you how your network is doing, what is the current state of your nodes and devices. Then you have the network engineer agent, which uh, uh, is capable of modifying your network, uh, like creating new devices, creating new equipments, etc. And what we are going to do for, for the demo is to create a, a new location, a new radio site, and uh, connecting this radio site to a 5G core. And then finally, we have the test agent, which as the name says, is here to help you run tests on, uh, across your network. So let's start with very basic questions that we can ask to the agent, which is basically, what kind of connective services do you know about? And so, uh, surely enough, there is a, an answer coming back, and this answer comes back from the operation agent, and it basically tells you that it knows about six different types of uh, network uh, connectivity uh, services. And from there, uh, we can also ask the agent to give us more detail about uh, one particular service here, which is the uh, radio, uh, 5G radio stack. And uh, the agent will go deeper into the technical documentation, digest all this very um, lengthy and technical and complex documentation, and basically summarize in a nutshell what are the mandatory parameters for you to define a new radio station. Um, so you can see here the names of the, of the parameter. Uh, the agent also suggests uh, a values for you to use and, and things like that. What you can also ask the, uh, 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 the uh, operation agent to do uh, for you is to tell you about the current status of the network. Like here, you may have noticed on the network topology on the right hand side that we have already deployed a 5G core entity with the UPF. I don't know if you can see it clearly here with a UPF and a core part and a data network part. And uh, the uh, operation agent goes to the network and query in real time what's going on in the network and tells you that the status of the control plane is, is running, the data address, uh, the AMF port, and everything uh, that is really useful to you to better understand what your UPF, uh, how your UPF is, is actually uh, configured. Uh, and finally, I'm going to show you another thing, which is to uh, we're going to create a, a plan because we want to deploy a new radio that we want to connect to the 5G core. And the first thing we are going to do is to create a new location. So. Here, the network engineer agent offers a plan. Yes, please proceed with the execution. And so it's gonna take a few, a few moments, but uh, you'll see a new location appearing in real time on the topology. What I'm going to show you here in the meantime is that uh, in the background, what's happening is that all the changes that you want to perform on your network actually go through a Git repository, which is the one unique source of truth for any change you perform on the network, okay? The only way for you to interact with the network is through this Git repository, which keeps track of everything, every changes that you've made, who made it, when you made it, and uh, give you the ability to roll back at any time on the previous configuration. So in the meantime, you see uh, the cell site one up there has, has been created. And finally, and this would be the last step of my demo, 
I'm going to show you, uh, now that we have the cell site location, I'm going to ask a, a, a more involved question to the uh, agent saying, now I would like to deploy a radio simulator and please tell me how I can make it work as a 5G network. So it's a very vague question. And the answer that will come back is actually a number of steps you have to go through to make this a reality, right? So uh, basically it tells you that it has to create a point-to-point -point connection and then to create a radio simulation. And uh, if I say yes, proceed, you'll see uh, the uh, network uh, populated with all sorts of new resources that correspond to the point-to-point -point connection between cell sites and the core and also the radio simulator. I hope you enjoyed this demo. Uh, any question you may have, please direct to us. Thank you so much.